Originally formed in 1902, the Westside Bank opened its doors for business in leased quarters on West Franklin Street. From the start, the bank was very successful. So successful, in fact, that a few years later, the directors decided to implement a plan to build a new building. This building would be more prestigious than the original bank. In 1906, a new building was erected on the corner of West Franklin Street and 11th Avenue on the former site of Peter Hess's homestead, store, and sausage factory. At this time, banks were often designed to convey strength and security, giving customers a feeling that their funds were protected and also to project prestige. All of this was made possible because of the directors of the bank. Men such as furniture manufacturer Benjamin Bossy, who served as mayor of Evansville from 1914 to 1922, Dr. Thomas Maser, H. Frederick Reichman, and businessman Augustus Rosenberger and Leon Curry. The architects were the firm of Harris and Shopbell, and the design they developed was a limestone-clad neoclassic structure that projected an image of tradition and soundness for the young bank. The inset main entrances were framed by majestic Doric columns, and the building is topped with a limestone balustrade. To provide additional income, a two-story duplex was constructed on the south end of the building for rental purposes. The Westside Bank continued to thrive through the teens and 20s. In 1932, the bank became a victim of the Depression and was forced to close its doors. Since 1935, the bank has been occupied by the First Federal Savings and Loan Association. This bank would later be taken over and renamed First Federal Savings Bank.